one and all. Uh, uh, well, it was called to order of the Rochester Stockbridge Unified District Board of School Directors um, meeting, uh, regular meeting, Monday, September 12, 2022, at 5 30 p.m. at the Rochester campus. And via Google Meet, um, we have called to order. Um, and I'll just put into the recording uh, that we have a quorum. Our quorum is Bill Edgerton, myself, Amy Wilt, and Patrick Hudson by uh, media. Uh, adjustments to the agenda. I don't believe there are any. Uh, we're missing, uh, or uh, who's usually here, the, the Tara often is here, and Jamie are often here, and neither of them is here, which is good for them. Very glad um, that they get some time off. Um, assigned timekeeper, I think we're I think we're fine tonight for that. I think we're, we know we've been keeping on our schedule pretty well. Uh, cons for consent agenda, I don't know that the notes are in this packet. They haven't been providing them in no. the printed packet lately. Oh, I don't know. How. I just printed this off because I wasn't sure anybody yeah. was sending them. So. I, I, and I'm not sure what the rules are about it. Um, I don't know either. Did you read them? What could it be? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not supposed to be quite that obvious about it. After extensive study, <laughs> I believe I would uh, I would accept a motion to approve the agendas. Uh, I should read them out. Approve the minutes of Thursday, July 28th, 2022, special, 4.2. Approve the minutes of Monday, August 1st, 2022, regular. And 4.3, approve the minutes of Thursday, September 6th, 2022, special. Um, I'll move. Uh, a second. I, I honestly did not read them, so I if nobody's read them, I think we should table them. I if, a point. If Very somebody good. has read them, Patrick, did you read them? Wait, are uh, you muted? You're muted, Patrick. You're muted. I I still can't hear you. Can't hear you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here I am. Yeah, no, yeah. I read them. They're fine. Okay. Oh yay! I read them, but I mean, it is it is my job to read them. Okay, good. Kurt, then I will second them with such uh, comments then, yes. Thank you. Okay, it's, it's, we're exposing that people could have really attacked us for that. <laughs> and it's pretty lame. Um, it's a simple job, really. Okay, uh, so move all in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Ayes have it. Our consent agenda is approved. Uh, is there any public comment? I see no public here. So I think we're going to go ahead. And there's a uh, area later of so be. Yeah. So um, and I had a board comment. No, I can't. Yeah. Sorry. Today was a discombobulated <laughs> day. Um, Monday. Some well, no, was yeah, Wilder had some stuff at school, and it sort of changed the whole day. Um, so I think I'm, we're fine. Uh, we don't have a celebration of learning yet. Do are they in the works? They are in the works. Great. Um, I'd love to meet some of the new teachers. Some of the teachers we haven't. I feel like I haven't, you know, like Megan or something like. Oh, that. okay. I was like, really, I really don't have that many. You know, I'm saying, well, but okay, from last year. We haven't too. actually, okay. you know, met some of these people, and I think it's important for us to to meet them and hear how they present, and if that's okay, if sure. that feels acceptable to you, that would be just a suggestion. Obviously, it's your your area. All right. Reports the board. Um, number eight reports the board. We're starting with the superintendent. The principal is not here tonight. Um, I think one of the things he would definitely have brought up, and he brought it up to me, and um, he sent a letter to us, is this um, possible assignment of the Lincoln School into our SU. Mm -hmm. And I think you all have read about that. that um, I have not, and I was searching oh, my emails so trying he, to find where would that letter that it was. It may have come just to the board chairs. Okay. Um, and I, but I can certainly talk to you about it. That would be great. Um, it's at a point where the last thing Jamie said to me was uh, he got a call from the board DOE ed. Board of Ed saying, you better be talking to your lawyers because this could happen. In other words, of what it would mean. 
Uh -huh. um, in other words, after we very respectfully said no, the SU said no to Ripton with due respect, but we just felt we were big enough and that anything bigger was going to um, impinge upon our ability to deliver what we've worked very hard to do, do well. Um, the, DO, the Board of Ed is now looking at us as, hey, they've already got a whole bunch of other schools. Why not one more? Because Lincoln is looking for a home. And what is Lincoln's school structure? Very similar to Ripton, very similar in size. Pre-K through six. Pre-K through six. With a cooperative preschool. Yeah. Sorry, but it no, doesn't no, make sense. You know more than I do. So how, you know, we came through a consolidation in Act 46, and now we have these groupings within our SU mm -hmm. of K6, uh, K8, uh, K through 12. How would, how would this new K6 fit into that? Would they have to join the 8K6? school district uh i can't speak specifically but i i'm I guessing know. they would say they would be geographically isolated within the supervisor union so they would be their own school district like okay. granville hancock or sharon or right, sharon the, is, is, is right following. or the newton okay. school um, okay yeah I, there's a lot of questions uh, one thing jamie did ask me is that i would um, uh, provide a letter um, <laughs> basically stating some of the things that we came up with. We had a whole series of reasons. And I think the more people it comes from, the better, yeah. you know, to the board of ed. And he, don't think he did send me the address. He was going to send me the address where to send it yeah. and who to address it to. Yeah. And is Lincoln School District actively seeking us or is it the board of education that is actively? They're looking for a place. I've heard that Ripton might actually be sent back to Middlebury. Yeah. Yeah. I think they already have that. Yeah, I guess what I'm saying cool. is it is it in the voters' hands in Lincoln or is it really in the, the I would so think. Lincoln has voted to get out of their merger hey, of the Mount Abe okay. uh, Unified School District and the other towns voted to let them out. Okay. So yeah. now they're moving forward in the next okay. steps. I, I what I don't understand about this is I would think we would be able to we would have to vote to accept them. Yeah. But a, but a, I mean how can they just Hand us, but that maybe that's to merge and not. We don't have a vote about whether we're part of a, dis, a supervisor union or not. So updates to all these kind of questions. Um, is this stuff that Jamie does know, or he's? I think he's investigating it. He's. He, I mean, he's been very clear with them. His point, which is ESU, was very clear with Ripton. Um, you know, we loved them. We thought they were great, but it just was too much. I mean, you know, and Lincoln's even farther. We have a very large SU yeah, already. As the, I mean, one of the biggest like, ones in the. It would be two, oh, almost two hours from Chelsea to Lincoln. Yeah. In terms of the drive, Easy. I mean, it's just it's it's, and I know it's convenient, but at what point is convenience ridiculous? I mean, why doesn't it just join? You know, if it's much closer to um, Mount Abe. Well, yeah. that's what they voted out of. Yeah. Well. So we'll see. Okay. This this may be taken out of our hands, and obviously more is coming. But I think we need to. Uh, um, yeah, I'm sure, that would, I'm sure that would have been the, one of the things he would have yeah. emphasized. Uh, uh, question. What else? Question. Yes. Yeah. Uh, one is. Um, so, uh, are you, Mr. Chair, going to uh, draft and send a letter on behalf of our SUD board? Um, That's a good question. Whether to, uh, uh, as or or how is that going to take place? If Jamie's asked for it. It makes sense that we are put something in writing yeah. and speaks to mm -hmm. what we're trying to do and where this would not move us ahead and uh, be difficult. Uh, so that's the first question. I think somehow we need to be able to do that. Um, well, I'm sorry. In a way, I'm sorry Jamie's not here because he could he could. Um, I didn't get a timeline. Okay, I've got mm -hmm. on his. Uh, report to us. Um, he says that the State Board of Education is meeting on September 28th. Yeah. And right. that's going to be the meeting on this topic. Um, and he's saying that hopefully many board chairs and I plan to attend. So I yeah, suggest that we get the letter to the board, um, you know, say a week before that, uh, they should be able to distribute it. I think um, we can. So that's the first thing. And then the second thing is, do you plan to attend to represent yes. us? Because that's it's wonderful. In my, it's in my calendar already to be there on the 20th. They don't, he doesn't say in his. 
um, report when that meeting is going to be other than the date, which is September 28th. Um, I, mean, I don't know whether it's a regularly scheduled meeting or what, um, but obviously the more of us that show up. So that's so a maybe Wednesday. even put it out to the public because I think there's definitely members of the public, I think, who would speak, you know, speak yeah. clearly on this. Yeah. Well, do, you want, like uh, do you want uh, uh, participation uh, beyond yourself for that meeting, um, Mr. Chair? Uh, that was not what Jamie talked to me about, but I would okay. love it. I would love it. Love well, it. just let us know. Um, uh, I think I will right now. Um, you know, if people can make clear that date and we will get a time. And, you know, I feel bad. You know, it's just like with Ripton. I feel bad. I mean, they're, they're nice people. They're doing the hard work, but we've just, the SU really examined themselves and uh, um, Our just capacity wasn't, as it yeah, is. yeah, yeah. I think we're doing, you know, we're doing well where we are and that's about it. Good. Anything else from the report that we can make notes of or that we can send to Jamie as far as? No, a lot of good stuff about uh, the work that's been going on, and so that's mm -hmm. always encouraging to, to read about. Mm -hmm. so. Good. If there not be any, we'll move on to the principal's report. Uh, we welcome Justine Gavakis here uh, virtually, joined in, and Vic Rabato, I see. Um, so you have my report. I think the biggest thing is we've opened school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Woo! laughs> that's always exciting. Um, we uh, down at the bottom, I did add kind of just updates around number five. Mostly um, the numbers are about the same. There's a little bit of a shuffle. There are 86 students preschool through sixth grade enrolled at the Rochester campus and 45 students enrolled pre-K through six at Stockbridge. Um, we do have some new families to the area, which mm -hmm. is great. We've met a few um, soccer and yeah, elsewhere. Absolutely, they've jumped right in, which has been great. Um, we are still currently without a music teacher and world language teacher, um, but we've started instrumental lessons, uh, building off the summer music program that's happened. And we have several, and I mentioned it, at least one in my report, we have several um, artists and residencies lined up and more on the horizon um, for kids to experience different aspects of music and, and as well as hopefully we have to really take that same approach with world languages. Um, so still trying to build on what was said. Um, and Is there any possibility of, um, I just don't know, yeah. uh, a music teacher from Bethel or South Royal team coming here? Um, I think they are full-time because they do like middle and elementary school, or but I can research it. I don't know that for sure off the top of my head. And world, the world language, of course, too. Yeah. It's just... they, I don't believe others replace the world language position. I think mm -hmm. we're all looking together. Mm -hmm. And I understand the SDY. Yeah. That's, and statewide, as I remember mm -hmm. you saying, too. So thankfully, we're in this great community where people have a lot of talents that we can <laughs> tap into, which has been great. So that, and then I would say the only other like facilities update, this is actually kind of work in progress right now, but um, we've had all the wood chips replaced. I see um, that's happening yes. right now. Yeah. Um, right. On the playground and like dug out because it needed to be dug out first, mm -hmm. not just piled on top of. Yeah, I remember years ago, that's basically a mandatory thing that you yeah. have to do over a couple of years to. Exactly. So they, they do inspect it, so. Yes, you have to have like six to nine inches. Yeah. Wood chips. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a good safety thing. So um, that's the other thing. And then we're just still waiting on parts for the fire alarm system here. Mm -hmm. um, but it is still, like it can still call out and do the things. So you just probably hear the beeping as you uh, walk. I did, okay. so. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. It's not beeping no, right now. But um, so those are kind of the main. It's functional enough. But it's functional to do the bare minimum, which is to keep the doors open, which is it can call out. We've tested it all. The fire alarms will go off. 
it's more the trouble notification while we're not in school. Okay. Yep. It just there's something going on with the ground with a wire. And just to confirm, I remember we have one teacher in Rochester who's still out for another week. Yes, we have one teacher who so um, is providing, she is a Norwich grad and she's providing um, her service training that she had to do. She left the day after school ended and she will be back. We have one more week after this week. She'll be back in two weeks and she will graduate and so she will be back in the classroom. Okay, and, and is this something that's going to happen every year or is this just no, this No, just this summer. Okay. Okay. Just to get her and essentially how does, fully certified. In year as I understand. How does that fit in the union, Cal? Like in terms of the number of days teaching and things like that? Uh, she a, had to go through a process with HR. Oh, okay, that's great. Can so that's all taken care of. Okay. Session, yeah. Very good. Just didn't take it. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> exactly. I probably shouldn't no. say that. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. I don't think. Good. I just, you know, yeah. want. No, I agree. Want us to be back up as, as strong as we can be. Absolutely. And how is it? How's the rotation, to it, your mind, going? It seems first? to be going well. We do have still some systems things to figure out around some social emotional support for some kiddos, some of our younger kiddos. But we're building that right now, and they've already been working on that. So. Good. Great. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, moving on to. Did you ask for comments? Oh, oh, did I ask for comments? No. I didn't, I didn't hear any. But Amy no. asked a comment. <laughs> no. uh, Bill, would you have Great. a comment, please? Well, it's more questions. Um, one is I was really interested in your spelling initiative with Janie Feinberg. Yeah, there's, that's a, great. there's a lifelong spelling, um, what's the term, challenged individual. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, I could go beyond that, but I don't want to bore you, but I was really <laughs> excited about this. Uh, getting it early. Is this a new initiative? Um, how does so, it fit in with literacy and are you going to continue this if it works? Yep, so we had a handful of kids last year who were receiving some literacy intervention services. Also pilot the spelling piece at the end of the year because we were finding it's part of the barrier around writing. Um, <laughs> the kiddos are really, they want to do well right? Like they want to succeed and if they can't spell well and they know they can't, they spend more time saying, how do I spell this again? And so really trying to build on that as an area of need. Um, so we piloted it and we've seen some, and only for like six weeks, like the last six weeks of the year. Um, we've seen some great growth already and just some confidence. So we are going to go full speed ahead and everybody's going to get paid. everybody. Everybody's going to be trained in it. It's coming Friday, um, and uh, we will go from there. So I'm excited to see. Um, it's only about 20 minutes, 20 instructional minutes a day. Wow. It's okay. So it's, it's like a, a, so is this a one time, or does Jenny come back, or people? Um, so it's it. there's four different levels that kids will test into. She'll come in and help teachers run a baseline assessment, yeah. and then from there they get broken out into groups, just like they do for reading, mm -hmm. and then it'll be part of the wow. rotation. Part of the literacy program. Mm -hmm. well, I just think that's fantastic. Yeah. I was deeply like spelling challenged had a lot of special ed mm -hmm. work on it and uh the best teacher i ever had made spelling fun and made it sort of about almost art it was about playing with le it was just it was a really exciting thing yeah. it was not cognitive it was almost more for me it worked better to be almost artistic with it right and, and words that went together letters that went together and groupings and all that kind of and thing. i think the interesting piece this is really first through sixth grade but we're going to train everybody k through mm -hmm. six is that it's um about being able to break down that barrier of like how it sounds like phonemically mm -hmm. and what sounds people and how you actually spell mm -hmm. so um it's pretty like what sounds do you hear okay how do you spell those sounds and every kid will test somewhere different but Five before E, except after C, when sounding like A is a neighbor in way. Right. Exceptions. All those Neither these are nor seizure <laughs> and weird heights. See, and I can't ever remember. No, I, exceptions. Well, I remember that from but 50 to 60. So impressive. Wow. There's a lot of research right now supporting the, some of the things that are blocking students' progress in writing is around spelling and actually handwriting. And we've just yeah. kind of jumped to always using technology 
and yep. that's even with a blank screen and the cursor blinking that's not good for kids right. uh, they're not progressing so we're going to start here and monitor from there and I think it'll great. I think we'll see some other spillover and some literacy things as well that's not wonderful. just writing I think that's fantastic yeah another one that sounded new was um, the artisan residency yes uh, I thought that sounded phenomenal could you tell us a little about it and is um, this going to be something hopefully that uh, we can you can continue to do um, right, with so different uh, artists and do we have the funding for it well right now the funding is the music oh position, well, yeah, 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 gotcha. right um, and some other areas but it's uh, we're starting off uh, Amy Braun has helped coordinating a lot of it and we're starting off with a fairly local artist Claire Walker Leslie oh it's wonderful I know her yes. well and she's coming to do like nature journaling, draw, journaling. Nature journaling. Yeah. Um, and she comes next week which is exciting and then we also have John Gilmore lined up for That's February um, so we have some great just different opportunities for all all kiddos that are not you know that don't want to take instrumental lessons because that doesn't speak to every kid great that's fantastic. The third thing is, is a, a, um, just a question. You, uh, we got schools open. We've got uh, the classrooms filled with uh, enthusiastic, energetic kids and teachers and everybody in between. Um, you reported on the enrollment for the two schools mm -hmm. this year, um, and I believe it for uh, Rochester Elementary it was 86, and for uh, Stockbridge it was 44. Five. Yes. And so I go, wow, that seems like more than last year. So I looked at last year, and in the annual report we had for Stockbridge K through six, it was like 40. So it looked like we gained five, mm -hmm. but it looked like Rochester might have had a, a, a fall off from last year. So it looked like it came out about mm -hmm. even. What can you talk about enrollment? And is that a picture that constantly changes over the year, or are you pretty well set with this? I, I think this is probably a good baseline where we're at. We do have a little bit of a transient population. So the really? folks that, uh, the numbers that dropped off in Rochester, those are families that truly have picked up and moved. Yep. Um, or we had a couple families who were just here for one school year and using their second home within the area while they were here and now they've gone back because work is not remote anymore. Hmm. Um, which is unfortunate. Yeah. But, um, so a couple of families have moved, uh, and we kind of knew that that was coming early on last year. They they had take you know jobs that shifted or other things. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, I guess the good news is is that we're we're not losing population, right. and so you could call it stabilizing. Mm -hmm. And we need that. We need and then we need to keep pushing it so it, it grows uh, yeah. to fill those classrooms. But well, that is something we've um, talked about. And that's one of the things I think mm -hmm. the SU and it, all the districts are going to be looking at is how we can tell our story and mm -hmm. the success of our of our schools and our teachers and our administrators uh, to educate families that might be new to the area or looking for an area to buy, to rent, or school choice to to make sure their kiddos are in the right place for them. So, um, yeah, this, I think this is a shared burden, but I I read from this, um, at least it's, it's, it's stable. Uh, right. For this, for it's this not a huge year. drop or increase. Um, and as I understand, we got one family came and they were Killington, mm -hmm. which is kind of nice to, yeah. I mean, I don't know if they, for that reason, but we Killington did. certainly was a program we've lost Killington students to, yeah. especially at Stockbridge. So. Yep, and uh, the number of school choice students tuitioning and in Stockbridge is going up. It's going up? Yep, that's good. Right. So, see, that's Baby exciting. steps. Yeah, yeah they're like hearing about the wonderful couple things we're kiddos doing. at a time, but it's great that we're starting to going on the right attract path. Yeah, that's some more families. Well, I talked to two parents. A father just moved in from South Carolina, mm -hmm. and, uh, um, and they left sick. South Carolina because the schools couldn't provide the type of education their, mm -hmm. their child needed. And moved to Stockbridge, I was found, he just said, that everybody's so welcoming and friendly and it's clear this is the right place for our, 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 our student. I'm going, yes. <laughs> um, that family has offered to be um, a, a reference check. I don't know if that's what you call it, but a reference check. So yeah, for 
Yeah. Maybe we have to start advertising down in South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. But I thought that was very hard. It shows it makes people are aware. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a difference. What's going on? I can, the other one was um, a, a similar story. Um, um, and uh, they were just very pleased. Okay. Uh, it's it's a great kickoff. Take and, and, and the first family, it looked like they were involved, the child was involved this summer, so it must have been also with your mm -hmm. program in One Planet that, that talks about, my gosh, here in, in Vermont, you can get a kid involved in learning and socialize and everything else in the summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Without well, paying for you know, a, a, a sleepover. So I yeah, yeah. wanted to share that. Thank you. Well, thank you. Great well, and if you do read about educational systems in the, some southern states, mm -hmm. it's Absolutely. really, really sad. And yes. that many people are forced to private institutions because the funding mm -hmm. is so poor. So we may complain about how much we pay in taxes, but we have schools. Yeah, we do. People care. We're providing for the future. Absolutely. Any further questions for our principal? Let us go on to our business manager, Tara. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Tara. Hi there. So you have my report. It's going over everything that we're working on, which is extremely busy right now. Um, getting everything ready for the audit that's happening the week of the 19th. Wow, yeah. And then um, you have requested at your last meeting for me to provide you with the FY23 projected oil expenses. And I actually locked in on our contract on the 7th of September at $3.7629 per gallon. So last year you used 17,606 gallons at the high school. So that projection for you is $66,250. That's just the high school? Yeah, we just the high school. 17,000 gallons. How much do we use in the elementary school, I wonder? Do you have I a ballpark, Tara, schools. for what the elementary uses? No. Or is that, no. 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 Okay. I'd have to look it up. It's a little less. Oh, $17,000. I'm sorry, I shouldn't know that. That's just... just that is, it makes, it makes a big, big dent. Uh, that's more than I expected. But um, we weren't going to talk about that now. We're going to talk about that, I think, in our discussion, at, at yeah. time, discussion time. But um, my reaction is here. Do you have a question for our business manager? I do. Um, in the food authority responsibilities, it says Rochester Campus qualifies for FFVP round two grant. Could you tell me what that is? Fresh fruit and vegetables. Fresh fruit and vegetables. Fresh fruit the first vegetables. round of funding, you have to have a free and reduced number, and then if that's not all applied for and awarded, then they start reducing the free and reduced percentage in order to qualify. Uh, great. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, how, how, how are we feeling going into the audit? How are you feeling going into the audit? We'll be fine. <laughs> Well, I mean, it, I just, I always reflect back that it used to be a much more stressful process two and three years ago. It is extremely I, stressful. I won't downplay that. I have myself and an accountant. That's yeah. all our team is at this point in the business office, other than human resources and accounts payable. Payroll, we are now covering, Ellen and I, at the same time that the audit will be here. So it's a bit stressful. But as far as our actual audit itself, I feel confident. I have no issues and concerns that I'm worried about at this point. Are you... We have a new auditor this year. Um, oh. Our auditor that's been with us the last three years has moved on from RHR Smith. So we have a new team. Okay. Um, are, are you looking to fill a slot in the business office? I have a posting out right now and have for a month now for an accountant. And we are actually going to be posting for a payroll clerk as well. And hopefully we'll have a bite on one of or both positions. Okay, good. Thank you for letting us know. Our thoughts are with you. Thank you. <laughs> Any questions, further questions for our business manager? If not, thank you very much, Tara. May it go well. Thank you. Okay, we are at the policy committee. Um, Patrick, do you want to? Lead us through what stage we're at and what what we should be looking for. If there are any changes here, 
So I had missed that last one because I wasn't aware of it. It wasn't showing up in my notification. So I needed to make that change. So I, I actually don't know what happened the last one, but before that we were discussing the flag policy. Okay. Um, and Amy, you, you said you did notice there were some changes. I yeah I I believe there's uh, just some verbiage changes in uh, the uh, affidavit concerning pupil residency. I just had a couple of more um, editing uh, questions or points to point out. Um, one, if you go to page two, this is the uh, affidavit concerning pupil residency. On page two, under number 12, motor vehicles. If you compare that, which is what you're asking from Guardian 1, compared to page three, what you're asking for Guardian 2, uh, they're not the same. You're missing, you're asking Guardian 2 to please list, make, and model color and plate of the vehicle you drive the most frequently, but you're not asking Guardian number mm -hmm. one that. So I didn't know if that was Hi. specific or. Um, Good for you. Okay. And uh, the other one was on page five, uh, number two, B, the second sentence, there's a period and no capital. Yeah, very good. Where are we? That no, that no tuition payments. Now that needs to be capitalized. Um, that was really my only comment on it. I think it is quite cumbersome. I think that it might be a little daunting for I, some parents, I felt, honestly. I felt that. Um, yeah. You know, but we do need to make sure that we are indeed paying for kids who this is their primary residence. Um, so, and I'm sure on a case by case basis, there will be discussions as to whether you know, a current packing slip showing name and physical mm -hmm. location, you know, if they're not, I'm sure there'll be exceptions um, or whether or not like a canceled check needs to be provided if a, if a, somebody doesn't have a bank account. Mm -hmm. um, so I am confident that this is going in the right direction. Um, and we should continue with it. I just wanted to point out those few grammatical things I saw. I had a question for Lindy on this, uh, probably been answered before us, but have, has the administration looked at the, the, app, the application in, in this process as something that you can administer well, or do you need to have extra staff or extra time? You were talking uh, about it being kind of complicated, but how does it, how does it reach you as something that once it's submitted, you can you know, get the information you need to, so to make a decision? So we already have one situation right now where we're working through this, mm -hmm. um, where there's a situation of split custody, 50-50 yeah. custody, and we got billed for students that we've never heard of before, so we've been working with Tara on it mm -hmm. um, and asking the one parent to provide all of these things, and I think it makes those parents kind of push back, like, wait a second, my kid's always been this town's residency so it's been an interesting process i think janet and erica i know janet and erica are very well versed in it already um plus it helps that they both live in each community um so it is time consuming but we're always willing for folks to come in and sit and ask questions as they do it which is mm -hmm. the best way mm -hmm. to be about any of this paperwork um and i just think it holds folks accountable okay thank you so no new staff needed yet. <laughs> and this is being filled out by new um, people who are new to the district or by all existing? Um, not, not all existing because we already have proof of residence. Okay, so it's for the ones that, okay. Yep, yep. So it's more an application if it's a family we don't know. Right, and also. Like um, they're new, they moved in. They moved, right, they, they moved in or, or possibly like uh, our uh, tuition students and not currently actually enrolled in Sandbridge or Rochester. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I think there's other school districts 
not within our SU that asks for way more. Yeah. That I've had to provide before, like okay. attendance and other things as well. Yeah, because so, I really want to. Like, yep. So I sure don't. The money from the town is going to the town kids. Exactly. <laughs> so. All right, and I had no, uh, no issues with the social media um, policy that. Did anybody else have any questions or comments on the social media policy? I remember we had a couple things that we talked about last time. I don't remember what they were, but I do remember. No further? Okay. There being none, I think we can pass this back to the committee. And I think it'll come up to the uh, to the full board. Um, uh, full board update. As far as I know, I know we have a we have a retreat scheduled coming up later in September on a Thursday night. Which, of course, you are all welcome to. It is the twenty second, I believe, at five. It was in his report. Yeah, it's in his report. Yep. Five thirty. Five thirty. Yep. 530, 22nd, Thursday, 22nd. Um, uh, that being an emphasis on full board. Um, so, I mean, obviously, even if you're not a voting member, this is a time to come and hear each other out. It's a time to come and hear each other out. And um, I don't know that we have an agenda yet for that. I don't think I've seen it yet. Um, and so I will, I, will get, I will work to get an agenda for that out to you all so you can have some idea of what, what's going to be on there. Uh, and I think that's the biggest thing. So, well, obviously, this um, uh, what happens with Lincoln is going to be a, a big issue when we talk later this month. And barring any questions on that, we can move on to our discussion items and take a look at this number. <clears throat> and decide how we feel this should get paid. Was there any um, suggestions, recommendations? <laughs> With um, the administration? In regards to this? Um, I am not sure I can tell you where to find that full amount in our budget. Uh, there, Tara, feel free to chime in. I'm sure we could find some of that, but it would be closer to like 10 to 15 that I could find. Um, and I am protecting some money for artists and residency and things because they do feel strongly like, even though not every position was replaced, that money was budgeted to educate our students. Yeah. So I don't want to. I kind of want to protect that money as well, if that makes sense, and use oh, yeah. it for activities for students and opportunities for students. So I think that's probably a reasonable amount that I would be able to come up with. I didn't look into how much is left in just the Rochester Reserve Fund. I that that was, was one of my questions. I yeah, put out I to Jamie and I heard, well, heard back from him in regards to some of our funds that we have. The the reserve funds and also some of our endowments if there was um, a way that we could tap into some of those yeah. those funds. Um, just because, um, you know, as we are all, it's a big amount and we're all, you know, very, uh, this is a heavy burden that we're laden with. On the other hand, um, there is a pathway forwards that we are seeing. There is a vote that's going to happen on this building in March. Um, and we really can't let the building get destroyed at this point because it's going to cost us way more than sixty-six thousand dollars if oh, that yeah. building gets destroyed. So, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. Mean, for me, it's not a question of not paying it, but it is a question of partnering. And I think, Vic, this is where you know I, I certainly hope. Um, well, certainly, last year the town kicked in, or you know, whatever from whatever source, 
the town kicked in, I believe it was 15,000. Yeah. Um, I think it's reasonable to ask of that amount. We asked at least, um, and I, I think, I don't know, I, I would like to see 30 personally this year. I mean, I think we're, we're stepping up. This is, this is also another year. You know, we thought right. we were, and I, and I just, I think it would, it would send a great message to our community, our, our, the RSED community, if that, if there was some real support in the broader community and not just putting it on the school to carry this building further. Vic, what's your, go ahead. Oh, yep, yeah, unmute. Uh, I think you're muted, Vic, or something. I can't hear you. She uh, doesn't say you're muted. It doesn't say he's muted. Yeah. Uh, the microphone happen. doesn't seem to be working. Sometimes, Sometimes if you leave the meet and come back. Sometimes if you leave the meet and come back. Do you want to leave, Vic, and, and try and come back? Because I, I know I've had that problem, too. Mm. And, 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 you know, this is, uh, I, I'm not being a very good board chairman because this is my personal yeah, opinion, yeah, sure. but I, I would certainly want to hear uh, what others feel about this. I, I, I do totally support Amy in her vision that, that we need to, this needs to be paid. We need to keep the school in functional condition for the possibilities that are there. I also feel, um, um, you know, it's a lot of money. And I, and I think it's, it's reasonable to ask to hear this. Patrick, go ahead. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree. Um, I think what would be fair is if, the town would split it 50 50 with the school then i think it'd be a lot easier to deliver that to the especially to stockbridge um you know with that i think shows that the town is serious in that it's moving in that direction um that's kind of my my two cents on it and you know and i, I do understand that we had all hopes and intentions of keeping this out of our budget and not paying for it. We really, really did. Um, but unfortunately, this is the cards that we're hand, handed right now. But I think we can come up with some some ways that we can lessen the impact on the school budget. Like I said, maybe through some of our Rochester Reserve Fund and through endowments that we can help soften the blow. Justine first and then yeah, I, I feel like I'd like to hear more, maybe understand better some of the fundraising that Catherine was talking about um, in the last meeting, because I, I, I do feel, I think it is a lot of money, and I think Stockbridge is not interested in paying for it, and I think that um, what if we can do, if we can find other ways, I think we would be serving our district better, and um but I, I don't think I understood fully what Catherine was talking about when she was saying she's having a booth at the Harvest Fair and talking about finding funding to, to offset the heat. I feel like I caught that in the meeting, but I didn't understand if that was really a prospect or not. Does anybody else understand it better? Uh, well, I think. So why can you hear me now? Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Um, so the Harvest Fair booth was a kickoff for fundraising. And actually, we, we picked up $1,000 that day just from the Harvest Fair. Oh, booth. Okay. Of heat. Um, and, we, and so it's just begun. You know, clearly, this is intended to be a partnership with the school board and the community and to be more than just Rochester. We want to get contributions oh, yeah. from all five towns. Um, and twenty thousand dollars was our, our working number going in. That, that was, you know, the minimum we want to collect. And now, seeing the <laughs> the bad news that Tara shared with us, uh, we should go higher. Uh, and you know, so there will be a process of broad community campaign plus individual approaches to individuals who we think might have some means to contribute more than average. So the campaign is just getting off the ground, and uh, uh, we've we've provisionally set a deadline of by uh, December 31 to to hit that number. Um, I would also, if I could, ask uh, Tara um, about the, the quantities, because the number is based on last year's quantity of gallons, which uh, recall from our last week meeting was somewhat unusual because that's when the pipes broke and there was a lot of work going on in the building. I know that the insulation was disturbed. And I wonder if we went back and looked at the prior year's consumption of fuel, if that might be more of a normal, if there's that normal anymore. Oh, uh, can I? Normal anymore. So can um, I just interject? 
exact one of the pieces of feedback that came from the pipes freezing is that we did need to keep the temperature higher than 55 degrees or six, whichever it was, it had to be bumped up. That was part of, other than the whole system failing. So, even, so, so looking forward this winter, you're saying that we're going to have to maintain 55 plus or 55 uh, plus, especially on some of those colder, you know, it, so when the, the, um, school. yeah, when the uh, pipes uh, froze, we are definitely in a cold snap. I think the whole winter was a cold snap, but um, personally, but yeah. um, I'm not a big winter person. I try really hard to be, uh, but that was some feedback that we received that it would be best to keep the heat, which is why we start to open doors and use fans mm. and things to push stuff mm. around. Um, yeah. So I don't know how much that'll impact the difference. You know, there's got to be an in-between somewhere there. Yeah. <laughs> Justine. Oh, sorry, you, you had. Yeah. Oh. Go ahead. Yeah, go, yeah, go ahead, Justine, then Bill. I was just wondering um, if it would be appropriate for the school board to have a, a bigger role in looking into the fundraising or teaming up with Vic or, or kind of working on having like a committee to kind of hold true to this, you know, looking for other ways to pay for it. Um, it sort of seems to me that we're kind of like, hey, well, well, maybe somebody will pay for it and not maybe doing extra. I don't know how appropriate it is for us to do that, but. I, I would certainly support that. I, mean, I think it'll look much better to the community at large if we're working in partnership to you know, preserve this asset. Bill, mm -hmm. um, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to uh, spin off what Justine just said. Uh, Last meeting we held, um, and we talked about this, we had a presentation by the Musicianing um, Committee, and I think we came out very strongly is that this asset, this aging asset that needs help um, to, to, to remain until the, the posse comes and mm -hmm. saves the day, and it's gonna be expensive, but we're hoping that we're gonna get the right funds. It's just too important to the future of this region as well as this community and I think we we're all saying we'd want to try to do the best we can to make it happen in this case to try to come up with a plan to to get us through this coming winter that said uh, just on this matter of, of minutes uh, since Ethan turned us on this topic we are brainstorming and we've come up with a bunch of ideas or angles or thoughts and I guess I'm a proponent of that this is important enough that our chair consider um, appointing or asking for volunteers for a, a committee that we work on this together. Mm -hmm. And that committee can certainly would be with, with the uh, repositioning committee and whatever else, and, and because there are other sources, there are other st possible strategies that we can piece together and one thing we're talking about is kind of responsibility how much should go with Rochester what if any from Stockbridge da, 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 da. so I I guess I think this is be appropriate to to task us Ethan to or task the committee to to uh, to work on this and come back in a reasonable period of time and I was going to ask how, how much time would this committee have to uh, to work on this, and then uh, would it be a month and come back with us? Well, let me what do you ask think? Tara. Tara, how did the how does the payment schedule go? As far as when do we need? Because obviously fundraising is is great, but you, when you don't know what your destination is, you can have a goal, but you don't know it's going to be there if we have to make a thirty thousand dollar payment in December twentieth. Um, but we've only raised five thousand dollars at that time. We can't count on that. So part of this is what can we, what what funds can we count on when? And Tara, do you have any sense of, guys, if you would just keep. So it depends on when the deliveries happen. And 21, um, to answer the first question, you use 12,804 gallons. So that so that payment for that will be coming up shortly, yes? Oh no, that's what you would, you asked what you used for gallons the prior year. Yeah, that's 12,000. 12,804. As opposed to 17. And you moved to 17 last year. 
In FY21, your deliveries were September, December, and March. And last year, they were October, January, and February. Um, just to push that on, the delivery, obviously, when is the payment? When do you actually take the money out of our budget to pay? We put the invoice, and it's usually soon after delivery. Soon after delivery, okay. So in that ballpark. So <laughs> to be realistic, we're going to need, we need some money right now. Um, uh, well, it also depends on how many gallons are left in the tank. Yeah, no, I understand. Um, just saying, just being very realistic about. Um, I've got I've got three things here. One is that uh, Lindy just said, uh, without sacrificing our special things, she's looking at about ten thousand she can pull into our budget to go into this because obviously it wasn't in our budget. We asked the town last year no less than 15000 and that was from the town. We asked from them. I think it's reasonable to ask them for that again. So that leaves us with a balance of 20, 30, 40,000, something like, what is that, uh, 25, uh, 40, 25, 40, yeah, 41,000, 41,000, that we need to meet either through fundraising or some other means. Um, so I would say the town, the months we can guarantee, we count on, are this twenty-five thousand dollars, which might get us um, pay for September's delivery, unless we've already paid it. Have we paid September's no, yet? We haven't gotten it. We haven't gotten it yet. Okay, okay, it's yeah. coming later. Okay. So w we know that that uh, if we if we request that from the town, well, actually the only one we can count on right now is the ten thousand dollars you say we can pay from the budget. Mm -hmm. So that's going to cover about a payment, I would guess. Yeah. One payment, as we're looking at this now, is that reasonable, Tara? Yeah, because I mean, if you're getting, you get between four thousand and five thousand gallons, sometimes a little higher each delivery. So if you say you get five thousand gallons. I closed my report. Sorry, I gotta open it back up. No worries. I think I think we need to be dealing with solid money that we know we have at least through December, and then by the time of March, when the fundraiser could come, I mean possibly by December, we'll have some significant fundraising amounts. Um, and if they come with five thousand dollars, yeah, if they come with five thousand gallons at the rate that we locked in at, it's eighteen thousand eight hundred fourteen dollars and fifty cents just for the fuel. Doesn't include all the surcharges that we pay. Okay, so we're talking twenty probably. Uh, so it looks Town like fill only three thousand. <laughs> well, it's just as I say. I mean, there's just a yeah. there's a reality gap here um, that we're facing. Um, well, I think we do need to go back to what we talked about before and and, and more immediately uh, if we want to volunteer to work together to try to come up with possible avenues for, for being able to find this money, total or part of, um, in more of an immediate, not wait, you know, months. Well, that's what I'm months. saying. I, I, I hear Bill and I hear Justine. I think it's great that we partner with Vic um, as the school building is our responsibility. Okay, we we need to know that we can cover at least two payments because I can't I, I really can't count on fundraising um, you know we can't count on fundraising you just don't know what's going to happen mm -hmm. and we're going to be responsible one way or another for sixty six possibly sixty six thousand dollars this year so so we need to know um, in our you know. What do we have in our reserve fund? I don't, right. know, I don't even know, but it's something. Think. Do we? Do you know, tear off the top of your head, our reserve fund? Or no, because we're in the middle of w using some of it for. Well, that's the right. It's going to go. That's right. For the fire alarm. Okay. Yeah. So I'll be able to tell you in your October board meeting. Okay. Thank you. Um, but do you see my point? Is we, we have a reality gap between raising money and what we're responsible for, Amy. Um, Vic, in the money that you were thinking of raising, that $20,000 that you initially came to us with, in your mind were you considering that, uh, 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 talking to the town and 
possibly using uh, ask, asking the town if they could fund some of that. No, that, no our, our, that was just from individuals. That was separate. Okay. okay. So just want to make sure we're not trying to double dip. <laughs> I, I, I think it's very reasonable. We did this last year. I think it's very reasonable to say, and we made it very clear, uh, no less than to the town, if we the, we need from you no less than we said last year fifteen thousand. I think we should say no less than twenty thousand dollars this year. That way we will have. Uh, up, we will have a re real amount, hopefully soon, because um, we might give him a deadline that we need it by, so that before the December payment, we have at least thirty thousand sitting around ready to pay for fuel bills, which still might not. If we're talking twenty thousand for one fuel bill, you know, we it might, you know, uh, it might still be shy on us. Yeah, I, I can't speak for the town, obviously. Yeah, um, I understand. But uh, you know. It, Certainly would be appropriate to ask. I, I think, and I and I think last year it was pretty clear that we weren't asking. <laughs> you know, well, I really think. Well, I think, you know, well I think we are trying to be partners. No, we yes. are. But I think it's also we have a set budget. They have a set budget. And um, we're but I think it's reasonable if we're going to pick up, and maybe we do have to find. You know, we need to find another ten thousand dollars. We need to be able to put in a third of this. I feel like, or at least know we have it ready. Does that sound reasonable? If we can find it either through this building reserve fund or, mm -hmm. but I don't want to. I, I mean, personally, and I'm I'm speaking a lot here, which is not really my role as moderator, but just that. Um, what do you want to do with this reality gap? I'll stop talking so much and ask you all. What do? How do we want to do this? Yeah. I guess I'll go, just go back that we don't have to make decisions to, tomorrow. We don't, don't need to commit tonight. What we do need to do is to come up with the best ideas um, and the logic behind them as soon as possible to inform this board so this board can push as aggressively and responsibly as possible to get this thing to work. So I'm always I, one saying, since I don't have all the answers, to give us some time to see whether what we can come up with. And um, I still suggest that's a, a way to do it. We don't have to draw the line in the sand tonight. I think what we're trying to do is both. We're trying to make sure that this thing works and happens at the same time. We want to make sure that the burden the, the financial burden is fairly shared, yeah. and uh, and that that's powerful, that, and that's consistent what Ethan you said on, on the sixth. So, um, but that's what I'd recommend. I uh, I agree with that, um, and I think I think we uh, have a lot of good ideas that are rolling around right now, and I think that we have need to get some more information about what some of the funding that we have available to us and. Uh, have a discussion with the town and with Vic and have like we need to come back in two weeks with with our ideas and a pr kind of like a presentation on what avenues we can, special we can tap. Meeting. A special meeting of, okay. you know, in, in the, I don't know what time frame, but in the near future, would, and maybe it is just two well, weeks. I, I think, um, so we need a list of what, what we need to know is without, as you say, Lindy, I hear you, without um, two weeks actually. What, two weeks is tight? So, uh, well, I mean, we're three weeks away from our next meeting. Yeah. Right? Am I doing that right? So yeah. it was. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. It's right. only three weeks. So we so, can. Here's, I, I'm just throwing that out there. I mean, it was about this time last year, as I said. This board made a very clear statement to the town of what we needed from them. I feel that is perfectly reasonable for us to do that. I'm worried. I'm worried about us covering, without mm -hmm. it sneaking into other budgets, this September payment. Mm -hmm. I mean, we got a September payment coming up that we've only got $10,000 for. We, we've just heard it's most likely going to be almost a $20,000 bill. We don't have the money to cover that without it cutting into something else. Well, So I think we do need to make a decision tonight. Let's, let's be careful here. We've got a budget, and the budget isn't... You have flexibility. At the end of the year, you've got to meet your budget, your bottom line. 
Um, but the, the administration has the flexibility of spending more here and less there as long as at the end of the year the budget isn't exceeded and you haven't gone beyond but we, the reserve. So, so we have some time here. What, what I hear from you, and you, you're really effectively communicating it, this is important, it's timely, we've got to get our act together, and we've got to be strong and, and pulling together the $66,000, and there's no fooling around. And I, I think we all agree with that. I think that's, that's the lead we need to take. Uh, the question is, how do we package that together? Okay. All right, so if we want to wait to the next meeting, um, uh, yeah, is that what is that what everybody wants to do? Is wait, I I feel like taking some action tonight on uh, town and stuff like that because it's there's a precedent for it. We did it last year. It'd be boom, we'd have that much more money if we set it to the town right now, and we make it a clear statement and don't be wishy washy about it. Um, this is what we need from you. I I feel like um, I think we can take that action. Tonight, because it's not a. Rich, it's just an action on who's going to go and ask, right? It's oh, as not, I said, we didn't ask last time. Or, or, yeah. well, or anyway, discuss. Justine, or go ahead. We're just so, well, it, I think maybe I, I don't understand fully. You're you're saying you want to ask the town for the additional money, or you want to ask the town about taking from different parts of the budget that they've already approved? No, already no. Approved. Last year, we said in no uncertain terms. The town needs to supply at least fifteen thousand to pay to underwrite the payment of heat for the high school building. The right. select board has to do this. We said that, and they agreed to it, and they came up with it from the trustees of public funds. All right, and then they were doing what we're doing now, scrambling to figure out where to get the yeah. money from. Them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I, th I think that's that's what I'm saying. It's a precedent for it. I would be surprised if they weren't expecting it, um, because it's what we did last year. They can also say no to us, and that would be unfortunate. But I think it's one of our very clear resources, and um, you know, Lindy's worried about having the money, and I, I, I understand that it's a floating pool and that it's out there. But I don't think we're being responsible if we don't take this by the horns right away. Vic, go ahead. Yeah, um, I just want to suggest that the kind of task force that. Uh, Bill is recommending be a three-way representation of the town, the repurposing committee, and the school board to sit down, work together, and come up with a solution to bring back to all three organizations, actually. Okay. Is that how we want to go? I agree with that. Patrick? Um, Bill, obviously you, Amy, okay? I think that would be... Yeah. All right, I'll enter. Tara, go for it. I need to go to Granville Hancock board meeting. Do you need anything else from me? Not no. tonight. Thank you so much for your Thank help. Thank you. Tonight. Thank you, Tara. Good night, everyone. Good night. Oh, is that our new clean? We're not. We are. Yeah, There's so. kind of swatch I, team. I just saw one of the new, they signed a contract for the cleaning here, and I just saw one of the cleaner, new cleaners going by at night, which is yeah. lovely. Um, so, uh, I'll entertain, entertain a motion to create a, um, a subcommittee for uh, dis discovering means to pay for the high school uh, fuel bill to be run in conjunction with Envision uh, no, repurposing, repurposing the Rochester High School. Repurpose, I'm just going to say repurpose and the select board. Yeah, uh, who's going to step up? We're also missing a member tonight. I realize we're Second. So, uh, right. so the motion. Well, I'll, I'll entertain the motion. I'll, I'll, I'll take, I'll so moved. Move. So moved. So moved. Okay. Well, second. Seconded, I'll second. Seconded by Bill. Is there any discussion on this? Justine? Uh, I just wanted to say that I probably can't be on the committee, even though I suggested the idea, because uh -huh. my husband's on the select board. I don't well, know he's what on, you think about that, but... Well, he's, he's on, on that select board. He's not on... We're not Rochester. on Oh, who are using Rochester select board? We're talking about the Rochester. Rochester select board. Right. We're why, not asking the stock for Why time. not both? That would be something the committee would take up. Uh, the committee would okay. take that up as an option. That We'll write that down. I hadn't even put that in my head, so good for you well, to I do that. Well, I just feel like it's a big part of Stockbridge, like the focus of, you know... 
everything right now mm -hmm. <laughs> in Stockbridge is, is paying for this school. And uh, I don't know. I mean, that was kind of my purpose in suggesting the committee is to try to kind of bridge this gap as the school board between this issue that's a big deal. So I feel like the Stockbridge Select Board should be involved. Um. So, with only five members of our board here, um, uh, it's so moved, we're in discussion. Um, all approved signify by saying aye. 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 And now, who's going to be on this committee? Well, I would volunteer, but I don't want to do it just myself. No. Uh, so, from the board. What? From the board. So if I could have another partner from the board, I'd be happy to volunteer. No. <laughs> Is that your wife? That was, you're just speaking, no. speaking for you, Patrick? <laughs> um, no, I, I don't think it's realistic for me right now for the next few months here with right. also volunteering to coach soccer. <laughs> Bill, would you be willing to uh, be partners with me on this? Yeah. Thank you. That'd be great. Okay. All in favor, say, did we say aye? I don't think so we did. Are we in discussion? Yeah, we were in discussion. No, we said aye, right? Oh. And then we were creating the, the um, All right. I don't yeah. Anybody want to play we back? Can, so we can say it. I we can do it again if we want just to make All sure. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. 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 Good. Thank you. I I don't remember. Good. I think this is a good idea. I, I I'm glad I conveyed my sense of urgency. Um, I think it's only responsible for us to have a plan going forward. Um, I in retrospect, it's too bad we didn't think of this. You know. The reality of this a while back, but I guess we just couldn't know. Hindsight's twenty twenty four. Hindsight's twenty twenty. Um, uh, try to move forward. Yeah, and I, and I think let's let's give them a clear charge that um, that I I think it's reasonable that the school to pay more no more than a third. How do we feel about that? That the, the our sub district should pay. Sorry, should pay no more than a third. That would be our goal. So we're talking about twenty, approximately fifteen 20. to twenty. So twenty thousand each. So we've 21. got to come up with another, another ten, and that that would leave. I mean, I think what. It, right, because it, we're talking sixty-six, so it's about twenty. If, it's, if it, it would I mean, be it's, twenty-two divided by three, if we, you know. It's so not sixty. It's really closer to seventy. Sixty-six. Yeah. So, I think if everybody came is, up with 23 to be on the safe side. Yes, exactly. 23. I'd rather have more. Okay. I think yeah, I think, and and I think, I think, um, right. our bias, our bias, I, I'm, at least I'm strongly biased, um, uh, that if possible, we should be paying less than anybody else in this. <laughs> but that's just me. And I, will, I shouldn't say that that strongly because I'm the chairman here. I'm not pushing my board. But I will leave that to the committee. But I think that's a reasonable that we go with thirds of covering about, that we shoot for 70 total, right? To 23, 23, 23 would be 69. It's 69, a good, 23 is a nice even number, though. Yeah, 23,000 per share. And if you come up with more sources than three, great. You know, if there's a fuel assistance out there somewhere, um, probably not for empty buildings. Good. I appreciate. Um, also, I would instruct you to, within the week, if you can, communicate with Vic and select board members to set up a meeting. Definitely. Does that sound reasonable? Within a week. Definitely. Good. Um, great. And to come back at the next meeting, by Oct our October meeting, with a uh, a plan. Okay. Yeah. I think that sounds reasonable and right. Good. Thank you. Sorry if I was dogmatic, but I felt strongly about it. Okay. And now we get to go home, right? No. Um, is there anything else on this issue? Vic, do you have anything else? Uh, no, thanks. And okay. appreciate the dialogue tonight. And uh, so, um, 
I, I'll wait to hear from Amy or Bill, Amy I guess, Bill. in terms yeah. of. Okay, we'll yeah. contact yeah. you immediately. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank and you. Patty Harvey is the liaison to the select board. So Perfect. Two Excellent. Well, thanks. Great. Bye. And and as and as Justine suggested, you know, reach out to um, Leanne okay. and Stockbridge, the Stockbridge mm -hmm. select board member who was at the presentation at oh, the yeah, yeah. meeting. Oh, she's a stock board slide. She's yeah, the she's chair. a she's the chair. Oh, that's, why okay. she was on, that's why she was on the meeting the other day. Oh, other great. Night. Okay. So I would say, why not reach out? Yeah, have them involved. In and say, do you want to be at this meeting? You know, right. do you feel you should be at this meeting for this discussion? I, 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 I agree with that. And um, Vic, I don't know if um, uh, you guys did a kickoff. Uh, at the Harvest Fair. I know that there is other community fairs around. I don't know if you were considering uh, doing any um, work down. Yeah, there's the Bethel Ford Fest and then there's a Pittsfield Peak uh, Fest. You know, there's a couple other town-wide um, uh, fairs going on. I don't know if you guys have considered any of that. Uh, we, we have now, but thanks for those recommendations what are the are there any pto stockbridge pto events coming up or anything like that no both ptos will meet one meets tomorrow night and one meets the end of the month okay so that that we should totally reach out to the ptos as well yes um, this is what we're doing this is what this we're is trying what we're to do do you have any ideas do you have any happen to have twenty thousand dollars in your back pocket <laughs> yeah um, hey, you know. maybe under a rock uh, you know, I just, handed, goods. I just handed Lindy a um, thick wad of um, cash this morning from the from the truck decorations. Now it's a donation for the truck, the school fun okay, the fun fund. School fun fund. It doesn't exist, but um, sorry, it's I know I activities fun. Activities fun. There you go. I should be careful okay. where I'm at. Okay. <laughs> Patrick. Um. Yeah. No, I was going to say, you know, kind of how Justine was mentioning, you know, inviting. Stop and select board into the conversation too. Um, I mean, would that make sense as far as all of the Quintown members like Hancock, Granville as well? I mean, if they're going to be utilizing this space in the future, we should be, you know, trying to access as much, you know, um, funds from from wherever. And I think Thank you. I think. I I would almost think we should start with who we have and at our, as we meet that first time, um, express yeah, the yeah. possibilities and, and see what, you know, what would Absolutely. Everybody... If they yeah. think that's a great idea, though. Thank you for bringing that up. Or coin drops right in front of the school. Yeah. I mean, in the construction. It's easy and people so. feel suckered into giving us their money. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> The thing is, well, never mind. Okay, uh, Vic. Yeah, uh, Amy, would, would you uh, include Catherine Shankman and your uh, contact to participate in this? Yeah. Couldn't be on the call tonight. Thank you. Good. Any further on this discussion item? I think we've done good work on it tonight. I think this is a better. I think it's a better solution than me ramming down something in a dictatorial way, which is my way usually. Um, um, yeah. I'll believe that for a minute. <laughs> uh, good. If there's nothing else, um, action and possible action items. Uh, nope. Do we have any new hires or resignations? No. Yay. Oh, it makes me happy when that happens. Uh, thank you, Vic, for being on with us. Much appreciated. He's gone already. Um, uh, is there any public comment? I think the only public left already. Um, uh, I think there might be some comment about this. If people listen. Let's, uh, and I think let's be ready to talk about this. That we, you know, I, I think we're unified in the sense that we will cover some of it, but we want to share the burden and that that is our, our vision for this. And I think are we all sort of agreed on that? Oh yeah, that we're sh we're sharing the load, sharing the the vision of this load. Uh, there being no public comment, our next meeting date will be Monday, October third, twenty twenty two, at five thirty p.m. at Stockbridge campus and Google Meet. Uh, future agenda items will certainly be um, 
spoil for high school. I think possibly, I don't know if we're going to have surveying done yet. Oh, Vic's not here anymore. Well, that, okay. So we might have some action items coming out of the EI, uh, the um, yeah. retreat. Oh, possible, yeah. And we also have the, the uh, the, those two policy meeting. statements for, yeah. for vote, or oh, possibly, yeah. you know, the, the third read you said that <laughs> it's going to come back to us. Yeah, yeah possible. Go first possible. Yeah. I, I think, think it's going to go to us too first. Yeah, I, I don't remember yeah, the exact I just spoke on that. Are we hearing from EEI? I do believe, yes. Yeah, we, in October? October and November, we have to make a decision. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Final decision. They're going to come back with more numbers. Yeah. For October, is my understanding. Yeah. I'm sorry. Why are we spending money on this? Sorry. That's just me. I will stop. <laughs> okay. Uh, good. Um, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Look at this. What is it? Hold Second. Hold. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Good night. Good night. I know. It won't be